and Ali Baba. Oh, Mr. Peeps. Fantastic. Mr. Peeps, do you know what two of my favorite things are? No, I know we have to finish the six-minute film script before lunch, Mr. Peeps, but I don't have any inspiration. So, while we're waiting for inspiration, why don't you tell me what you think my two favorite things are? What's that? <laughs> Mr. Peeps, I don't even know what the color puce looks like. Yeah, guess again. What? No, I've never driven a stock car in Indianapolis. No, Mr. Peeps, my two favorite things in life are a lovely, wonderful cat nap and a big sandwich. And right, right now I am so tired. I don't even know if I want to eat my sandwich more or take a nap more. Maybe I'll just have, ooh, maybe I'll just have one little bite. Eureka, Mr. Peeps! I've got it! i figured out what our script can be about! Yes, Mr. Peeps! Inspiration! Inspiration has landed! I was just dozing off into my naptastic paradise when it hit me. What if my movie is about alien life forms that come down to our planet but look exactly like gigantic sandwiches? <laughs> No, that is not cheating, Mr. Peeps. It certainly is not. Inspiration for books or movies or paintings or music can come from anywhere. Even fairy tales and fantasies can come right from their inspiration from our everyday lives. Yes, they can. So, Mr. Peeps, I just take my inspiration and I shape it with my imagination and my creativity and voila! I've got my movie script. Oh, Mr. Peeps, it's very easy. Anybody could give it. Yes, Mr. Peeps, even you could do it. Mr. Peeps, do you want to give it a try? Yeah. All right, so what would yours be about? Oh. What's, what's, what's that, Mr. Peeps? You're using me as the inspiration for your story? That is fantastic. Where are you gonna put your story? Uh, well, um, uh, Mr. Peeps, <laughs> if you're not gonna let me out of this inspired story, Mr. Peeps, then maybe you ought to press play and start the films. Okay, are you powered up? All right. Duck, duck, juice! <laughs>